welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to talk about versions. But not any specific version, we will talk about versions integration inside Home Assistant. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you. Your support means a lot. And now, let's get back to video. Version sensor or version integration allows you to display current Home Assistant version. But it's a little bit more than that. Let's briefly go into one of my previous videos. And in the video in regard to the Home Assistant automatic update notifications, we covered two version sensors. So what do those version sensors do? There are a couple of things that you can use version sensor for. On one side, you can use a current version. This is when the source is local and it will give you a latest installed Home Assistant version. It doesn't matter if you are using supervised or Home Assistant HSIO version, how it was previously known, or on the other hand, if you are using Docker version. It will always tell you what your currently installed and running version is. On the other hand, there is also a latest version. Latest version is when you do not define source as local, but instead use something else. For example, in this case, I'm using source HSIO. You can also specify other tags as PyPy, HAIO or Docker. But why would you use this sensor? If you want to know what version you are running, you can always go to configuration, information, and it will be visible here. Also, if you want to check if there is a new version, you can go to supervisor and see if there is an update available here. But with a little bit of play, what you can do with those integrations is something similar than we did in the previous video. And it will allow you to get notified if your current version is obsolete or if there is a newer version. So first of all, let's create a couple of sensors. In this video, we will create a couple of sensors. First thing is we will create a current version. Current version will track our local installation by creating a sensor that will hold the data in regard of what is currently running on our home assistant. Then we will create additional sensor for the SIO because we want to know if there is a newer version of the HSIO available, but also we will be pulling a beta tag, meaning that we will know if there is a beta version available, so we can expect a new release in 7 or less days. Ok, let's get cracking. First of all, let's go to Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I already have those two sensors here, but we will close them and ignore them for now. Depending on what type of configuration you have, you can have your sensors inside configuration YAML file, inside sensors YAML file, or as I have in my system here, you can have them each in a separate file in a separate folder. As most of the people have sensors YAML file in separate file, I will create those sensors here. So first we will be creating sensor for our current local version. Platform and platform name is version. We will give it a name. And since we will be using source local, we will call this current version. And next line, which is in this case optional, but I prefer to write it anyway, is source. If source is local, this is default value and you do not need to specify it. But since we will be creating multiple uh, platform version sensors, it's a good idea to list it here so that you know what is the difference. Next, we will create a new sensor called latest version. And source for this sensor will be HSIO. In my case, I'm using 
so-called HESIO version or what has been lately known as supervised version. I'm running it on Synology, which is unsupported platform, but that's not important for this video. And this sensor, latest version, will check against the repository what is the latest version of the HESIO available. Those two can match, and in a lot of cases they will match, but we will be creating automation that will handle this a little bit down the road. And as I mentioned, I also want to create one additional sensor. Platform. Version. Name will be beta, beta version. Source once again will be HESIO. But we will also now list one additional flag or one additional configuration parameter called beta. And flag for this will be true. Now we have three sensors. One is current version. It is checking against the local installation. The other one is latest version. It is checking for the latest available version for the HESIO. And the third one is beta version. It is checking if there is any beta version or what is the latest beta version for the HESIO. All you need to do next is you have to check a configuration and restart. Let me just fix this for my recording setup since, as you know, I have my sensor in separate files. So I need to create a one additional sensor for that. Let me first disable this. I have already created previously version current, version latest, and now I will just create here additional sensor called version beta. Let's go to configuration. Server control, check configuration, and let me restart Home Assistant. If you do like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up, because it means a lot both to me and to the channel. Thank you. Let's go to Developer Tools. And here we should now have three sensors. One will be a current version. This is currently installed version. And as of today, this is 0.115.6. Then we have latest version, which is the same as the current version. So 0.115.6. But we also have a beta version or beta version. And this version should be 0.116.beta2, 3 or 4. Now let's check it. Current. As I said, it's 0.115.6. Then we have latest. 0.115.6. But we also have beta. It's beta 2. So 0.116.0 beta 2. Okay, but what can we do with those sensors and why do we even care? Most of the people will probably not care that much about that, because they upgrade when they want to upgrade. But some people also forget that there is a newer update, so we can use this to make automation that will notify us if there is a newer version than the one we are using. For that, we will be using part of the automation we used in the previous video. Let's go to Configuration, Automations. And in the last video, we created very long automation called Home Assistant Update Automation. That has a lot of stuff going on here. But for this video, we will simplify it. Let's press plus sign. Skip this. New version notification. For the trigger, we will be using state. Latest version. Next thing we need is a condition, and for condition we will be using template. And this time I will be writing that template here.
States. Sensor. Latest version. Exclamation mark. Equal. So this means not equal to states. Sensor. Current version. For most cases, this could be okay, but there is one catch. If you've just started your system, it's possible that the value for the latest version is not available and you could have their unknown. And if this happens, this template would also resolve that to latest version or unknown, not equal to current version or 1.115.6. And you would get notified. We do not want that. So we will add additional template condition and states sensor latest version exclamation mark unknown and let's close those brackets here if we now look at this template let's open it here you can see that we are checking for two states for this condition first state our latest version has to be different than the current version and also a latest version has to be different than unknown if home assistant doesn't know the state of the latest version it will normally put here unknown so yeah this will not pass and the last thing that we want to add here is the action for that we can use pretty much anything let's call service Persist notification create and let's type here a title new version available and message there is an update to home assistant available and here we can also put what version we are running and what version is available so let's start typing states sensor current version And let's type it like this. States. Sensor. Latest. Version. And let's close this. Okay. So what this would do. If there is a newer version, so latest version is not the same as the current version, we will create a persistent notification telling us in the title that new version is available. And in the message, we will see text. There is an update to Home Assistant available and it will tell us version, I don't know, one and it can be upgraded to version two. Let's copy this line because I want to show you how it looks inside the developer tools. And this is it for this automation. You can now save it. Let's go to developer tools first. Let's go to template. And let me paste here what we copied from the automation. As you can see, it will show you text similar like this one. What is the current version and that it can be upgraded to the latest version. Okay, let's go back to configuration. Server control check configuration and reload our automations although automations should be reloaded when they are saved if they are created to the editor here we are running the latest version so we cannot test this normally but let's do it like this let's go to automations and let's execute it here it says that this has been executed just now let's look at notifications and you see what notifications you will receive in future okay
So what about beta version? Something similar can be created, so let's create it something similar but a bit less complex than this one. Let's press on the plus sign, skip and let's type here new beta version available. Once again, we will be using a state as a trigger. We will be using beta version as a trigger. Condition will be only one condition. We do not want to have state empty or unknown. So let's select here template. And let's start typing here. States sensor beta version is not equal to unknown this should be it because we cannot compare beta version the naming of the beta version is different than the latest or current version we just want to make sure that this sensor is not empty or unknown and once again we can create Call a service, persistent notification, title, new beta version available, and in message, let's create a message. There is a beta version available. And here we will just pull the state of that sensor. States. Sensor. Beta version. And close it. Let's press save. As you can see, this is much more simpler sensor. We are just checking for the trigger and trigger is the change in this sensor. Template, we want to make sure that the sensor is not empty and then we just display this persistent notification. Let's go back, let's trigger this. As you can see, it has been triggered. Let's go to notifications and we have previous notification. There is update to Home Assistant available with the current version and latest version, but we now also have notification when there is a beta version available. And this is it. It's up to you how you will use them, for what you will use them, or if you will be using them. In the previous video, I showed you how you can use that information to trigger automation that would automatically check if your system is compatible with the future with the future version or not. On the other hand, I really would like to hear if you have any additional cases when this sensor can be used and for what this sensor can be used. Feel free to contact me on the Discord server or leave a comment down in the comment section here if you have any suggestion or idea for what other purposes this sensor could be used. Don't forget that you can change the HESIO version for the latest or beta with the Docker version if you are running your Home Assistant in Docker. And this is it for today's Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you have any kind of a comment or suggestion or idea for either this video or any future videos that you would like me to record, please contact me on the Discord server or leave a comment here in the comment section. Thank you once again for watching. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun.